What's up guys, it's Gecko here, and today we are going to be going over the Oculus V20 update and its biggest feature, 120Hz for the Oculus Quest 2. This is such a huge update, since the release of the Oculus Quest 2 we started at 72Hz, then we got an experimental 90Hz, now we have an experimental 120Hz. Now just to give you a reference for how big 120Hz is, the Valve Index runs at 120Hz. A PC-powered $1,000 headset. This $300 standalone headset is running graphically as well as an $1,000 headset. Plus, it even has a higher resolution! So with everything just coming together with the Oculus Quest 2, it is really looking like probably one of the best deals you can get on the VR market right now. There will always be a bigger fish when it comes to graphics and power, but right now for $300, you really can't beat that. However, with 120Hz comes a price. Getting a game to run at 120Hz can be quite the challenge for developers, so only a few games can run it at the moment. Slowly but surely, we are getting more and more games that can run at 120Hz. But the thing is, how do you know if a game runs at 120Hz? For some reason, Oculus doesn't have the feature where it shows in the description of the game, or like a badge or anything, if a game can run at 90 or 120. The only way to find out is if you look it up or you find news in an article or their Discord. So, that's why I made this video. In this video, we are going to be going over 5 games that run at 90Hz and 5 games that run at 120Hz. These are mainly the best games I could find and honestly some of the few I could find, so if you guys know any game that aren't on this list, please comment them down below and let everyone know what games are now supporting this amazing feature. So starting off this list, we are going to be starting with the games that run at 90Hz. Starting off, we have the first game to ever receive 90Hz for the Quest 2, and that is Beat Saber. This was an awesome debut for the feature, as Beat Saber is a widely played game by the Quest users, and it definitely needed the extra frames. 90Hz creates a smoother experience for Beat Saber, and allows you to get more immersed into your environment and the music. I can't see myself going back to 72Hz after playing this Beat Saber update. With not much else to say about this blockbuster game, let's move down our list. There was no doubt that Superhot was going to get this update just like how there was no doubt that it was going to be ported to the Quest to begin with. Its simplistic and crisp graphic design allows for easy performance for the headset, and this just goes to show how games don't need to look realistic or have intense graphics to be fun and immersive. As all this game needed was just 3 colors, 2 fists, and now 90Hz to make it one of VR's most timeless games. Another classic getting the big update, but not only for the refresh rate but hand tracking as well. Job and Vacation Simulator have never looked better with this 90Hz update. On top of getting a clear resolution and bright color palette, you also get a buttery smooth visual experience. If you haven't tried Vacation Simulator yet, I would highly recommend you do so to try out the hand tracking and 90Hz combined into this one signature game. I'm gonna be honest, I was super surprised when I heard the news that Onward was getting the update, but I am far from complaining. It's been a while since I've stuck my head into the battlefield, so when I did, I could totally feel the upgrade. You can now feel even more immersed as you strategically maneuver your way around maps while taking down enemies. I'm super stoked to see Onward getting this beautiful update, and I encourage you all to hop back into the battlefield to experience this yourself. We were all super happy to see Requiem get a graphic upgrade for all the platforms with the update we received about a month ago. On top of that, things started feeling a little smoother if you've noticed. Requiem now supports 90Hz, but it's one of the shakier 90Hz compared to the other games we've covered. In better words, Requiem can run up to 90Hz. Depending on the room you're in and how many people are there, it can drastically alter your performance. After all, Rec Room is a social game, so unless you're only chilling with just a few friends in a small room, you won't see the 90Hz too often. But hey, it's still awesome to have 90Hz in some instances of the game. So those are the top 5 games that run in 90Hz for the Oculus Quest 2. Now let's get into the big boys, the games that can run at 120 freaking Hz. We have two awesome table tennis games coming in as our first feature for 120Hz, 11 Table Tennis and Racket Fury. I don't have 11 Table Tennis at the moment so I can't speak on it too much, but I do have Racket Fury and I could assume that 11 plays just as great given that they are both made by the same developer. Racket Fury takes a spin on the sport by having you versus robots as well as other online players. I was super surprised to see how much the 120Hz improved the game. 
Having the extra frames made 1. the robots look super realistic and lifelike, and 2. made the table tennis feel like real life. When it comes to quick action sport games, you want every frame you can get to make the most accurate moves. If you love table tennis and VR, I'm sure I won't have to do much convincing for you to give this a try. Cubism feels like a mobile puzzle game that has been translated into the virtual world. It's a very small basic game that utilizes hand tracking while you put all of these blocks into the right spot to solve a puzzle. This game is super simple and something that would be really cozy to play on the couch. Having the 120Hz gives the game a lifelike feel while also feeling like a fantasy. It really immerses you into the void setting and moving the pieces in front of your eyes. Definitely a cool checkout. It's so great to see one of Oculus' prized free games getting this glorious update. As arguably one of the coolest and most competitive games on the Quest 2, getting this upgrade immerses you even further into the game. Flying around in zero gravity has never felt better. However, Echo VR only runs at 120Hz during the matches you play. This means that while you're queuing for a game to explore the lobby, you'll be only playing at 90Hz. Which isn't a huge deal, but it's just a little disclaimer. I am super stoked to announce that just recently HyperDash updated their game to play at 120Hz. While I wasn't exactly expecting this, it isn't much of a surprise. HyperDash was able to play at 90Hz while it was in beta, so having it run at 120 post launch just makes sense. HyperDash's visuals are crystal clear and the weapons up close are super detailed and the textures are flawless. HyperDash has earned the crown as the most polished and refined game on the Quest 2 platform. If you want to experience peak Quest 2 performance gameplay, this is the game to experience it on. So yeah, that's the list for the games that support 90 and 120 Hz. Don't forget that if you want to enable 120 Hz, you have to go into experimental section on your Oculus settings and enable it. There may be a slight increase in drain of battery and maybe heat radiating from your headset, but other than that, your headset should be fine. Don't forget to leave a comment if you know of any other games that support 90Hz or 120Hz, or heck, if you want to see a game run at 120Hz. Personally, I'm looking at you, Beat Saber. You can do 90, you can do 120. You'd be really schmoove. Schmoove. That's the word I could use to describe 120Hz. Schmoove. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.